What goes up must come down. Even this basketball player, who seems like he could hang in the air forever, will eventually return to the ground after a slam dunk. In the end, everything on Earth falls back to the Earth, thanks to gravity. But what is gravity? It's time to shine a spotlight on gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls on and holds objects. While we can't always feel it, everything on Earth experiences gravity. That's because Earth itself has gravity. The force of Earth's gravity, also known as its gravitational pull, is what keeps us on the ground. It's also the reason why things fall. The larger an object's mass or amount of matter it's made up of, the stronger the Earth's gravity pulls on it. Which of the following experiences the strongest gravitational pull from the Earth? Even though these objects are all roughly the same size, the bowling ball has the greatest mass, so it experiences a greater gravitational pull. We can measure this pull with a scale. A scale tells us an object's weight, or a measure of the Earth's gravitational pull. Since the bowling ball experiences the strongest gravitational pull, we can also say that it weighs the most. While we're most familiar with how much things weigh on Earth, we can actually measure weight outside of Earth, too. If we took this basketball to the moon, the amount of matter it's made up of doesn't change. However, the amount of gravity pulling on it decreases. That's because the moon has a smaller mass than Earth. Which of the following would change on the moon? The amount of matter making up the basketball is still the same, so the basketball would have the same mass on the moon. However, since the moon has a smaller mass than the Earth, the basketball would experience a weaker gravitational pull and weigh even less on the moon. And it's not just weight that's different on the moon. Take a basketball player who's pulled down to the ground after they jump thanks to Earth's gravity. On the moon, this basketball player can jump way higher. It's not because they have less mass, there's still the same amount of matter in their body, but they do have less weight. The moon's gravity isn't as powerful as it is on the Earth, so they can jump really high. Let's imagine our basketball player wanted to play a game on Jupiter, which has a larger mass than both the Earth and the moon. What would happen to the basketball player on Jupiter? If our player could go to Jupiter, the planet's larger mass would create more than twice the gravitational pull of Earth. This means our basketball player would weigh more and wouldn't be able to jump as high if they went up for a slam dunk. But if Jupiter has such a strong gravitational pull, how is it that we stay on Earth and don't just get pulled into Jupiter? Well, that's because mass isn't the only thing that determines gravitational pull. Distance also plays a role. The closer two objects are to each other, the stronger the gravitational pull between them will be. Even though we can regularly see the Sun, it's actually several million miles away from Earth. And Jupiter? It's even farther away from the Sun than we are. Which of the following pulls on us with a stronger gravitational force? Even though both the Sun and Jupiter are much more massive than the Earth, they are so far away that we experience a much stronger pull towards the Earth than we do towards Jupiter or the Sun. But while we don't get sucked into the Sun, its gravity does affect us. Because our Sun has the most mass of anything in our solar system, it has a strong gravitational pull. This is what causes the Earth, along with other planets in our solar system, to orbit around it. So far we've examined the gravitational pull of planets, stars, and moons, but everything, yes, everything, that has mass has a gravitational pull. And remember, the larger the mass, the stronger the gravitational pull. That means that even you have gravity, and a gravitational pull that attracts other objects. But if everything that has mass has gravity, why don't a basketball player and ball pull towards each other? While everything that has mass has gravity, the gravitational pull the basketball player and ball have on each other is very small compared to the Earth's. Because Earth's mass is so large, its gravitational pull is larger than anything else on our planet. Gravity affects us on Earth, causing everything that goes up to come back down. But it's also the fundamental force that helps us hold our universe together. Now you've got the bright idea. Try explaining it in your own words. What is gravity? Here are the important takeaways about gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls on and holds objects. The force of gravity is stronger when the mass is larger. The force of gravity acting on a mass is its weight. The force of gravity is weaker when objects are farther apart. This is a great start, 
But don't forget, there's always more to illuminate. What questions do you still have about gravity? This has been Spotlight on Gravity, and you've been brilliant.